went for a walk on the beach this morning in Palm Coast uh, to see the sunrise at 624 and on my way found a sea turtle. Anyway, I wanted to share that experience with you. It's absolutely amazing. It's very rare that we see sea turtles when um, after uh, the sun comes up and uh, this one was just uh, a little bit late uh, to the beach, but uh, laid its eggs and uh, moved back on. But I thought you'd find it interesting. So here's what we saw when we went for a walk this morning. As you can see, it's low tide, and we followed these tracks that uh, start at the water uh, up to the beach, almost to where the resort is, uh, definitely right in front of the stairs, and lo and behold is a beautiful loggerhead uh, sea turtle. Now this is actually an endangered species and uh, they come to shore overnight generally to lay eggs. Uh, this one happened to be caught out uh, past sunrise. Uh, we were the first two to come uh, upon it and of course very excited to be able to see something that very few people uh, get to see, uh, especially unexpectedly. The creature is huge. They grow to just under 300 pounds. I can't even begin to give you an estimate as to what this one weighed, uh, but as you can see, it's in the process of laying eggs and making its nest. And so to me, it's a very, very uh, exciting uh, process to witness. Now, as I mentioned, this is the loggerhead turtle, which is the most common uh, for this area. Uh, they are generally found in the Atlantic and the Indian Ocean. We are on the east coast of Florida, so the Atlantic in uh, Flagler County. And uh, this is not uh, an unusual occurrence, but it is unusual to get this uh, kind of close-up view of what's going on. Uh, in Florida last year, there were over 91,400 nests that were located, and um, it's very exciting. Uh, what we did when we first saw this turtle was we contacted the Turtle Patrol for uh, Flagler County and alerted them as to where the nest was. Of course, my concern was that I, knew, I figured they would eventually find it, but we wanted them to find it before all of the tourists from the resort started to come down to the beach because the nest, as you saw, was right in front of the staircase to the beach. So uh, we wanted to ensure it wasn't disturbed. And you'll see here in a second that uh, uh, before we left the area, some uh, guests of the resort helped us to put chairs around the nest to ensure that nobody would accidentally walk over it. As you can see, the turtle has emerged uh, from the nest and is heading back towards the ocean. Uh, now, generally when we see these nests, they are already marked uh, as shown here. And what I just learned was that uh, you'll we'll see different color ribbon. And the ribbon designates when, what month the uh, nest was located. So for example, May is pink, June is blue, July is orange, August is green, and again, September is pink. Now there's a small crowd of uh, tourists and also locals uh, that are gathering around as we all get to witness uh, this turtle going back into the Atlantic. Uh, everybody's excited, and but I have to tell you, everybody's being very respectful. So we're ensuring that we give the turtle plenty of space, so we're doing our best not to spook it, and uh, we're just happy to be a part of this event. Right now we're waiting for the Volusia Flagler Turtle Patrol to arrive. They do mark off the nest, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, to ensure that uh, nobody disturbs it. They post a warning sign on it as well so that people know exactly what's contained in the marked off area. Uh, I used to make fun of the tur Turtle Patrol because I thought it's actually pretty funny, kind of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. However, these are all volunteers and they get up every morning and they patrol the beach before most of us are up to locate these nests and ensure that this endangered species is, uh, is protected. Now, 
Now, right now, as you can see, the Turtle Patrol is arriving. Uh, they do go by foot and then also on these ATVs. And um, as I mentioned, these are for special people because they really dedicate a lot of their personal time to, um, to making this all happen. Well, that was a pretty spectacular start to our day. I am very excited that we uh, got to witness it and more excited that we got to share it with you. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, that not only encourages us, but uh, also helps us out quite a bit. So I would really appreciate it. Uh, the next couple of episodes are really good. I think you'll enjoy them. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy them. So uh, thank you again for joining us today. And until next time, lead an incredible life. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.